See, most people, you know, you see Butch Haas and you think, that guy has really got himself together. He's got a good gem. But really, like, he's unraveling. He's on the verge of just completely having a mental collapse. And he's going to be on top of a water tower screaming. And I'm going to have to talk him down. It's going to be like Rambo, First Blood. They're going to call me in to talk him down. And here we are, we've got Matthias Wagner from Devotion Jiu-Jitsu up against John Shellhammer from Ground Zero Bridgeport. I was just telling the people that. I was just telling the folks at home that John Shellhammer is uh, actually your illegitimate son, like a Jon Snow situation from Game of Thrones. It's very true. Um, I go by the hammer, and he goes by the uh, Shellhammer. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what any of that means. But it means he, we're kind of partly related. He hates turtles. <laughs> yes, exactly. Master Shredder has taught us well. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. All right. By the way, if you're in Charleston, Vanilla Ice will be there um, just a few days. Um, like to see you there. So stop, collaborate, and listen. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Um, this should be an interesting match. Um, John Shellhammer's opponent, has, uh, Matthias, has a very good body lock pass. Um, and John's aware, so he's already, you know, done some things to try to avoid it. But... You know, that's how the game goes, right? We know somebody's good at something, and your job's to stop it. Let's see what happens. Colin was bragging on John earlier. He said he's very difficult to deal with, very strong. Yes. He's very strong in, the, in the, that length, right? Like, he's, we're about the same height. It gives people problems. But also, look at Matthias. I mean, look at the leg strength of Matthias. I can just look at him. You can see those big quads and tree trunks. Yeah, those guys are, you know, that means he's got a good wrestling game. He's going to be tough to deal with. And But... It kind of looks like he's a little scared to shoot, wouldn't you say, Matthias? I mean, that at least that one. I think he's worried about that Darce and Guillotine yeah. of John. Because he seems really, really wary of those arms, those long arms of John when he's entering those shots. Yeah, and this is not exactly what I thought would happen, meaning that seeing Matthias jump, jump guard there, sit to his butt. But um, we're going to see. I know that Shellhammer's game, talking to him before this, was to hand fight and to wrestle, which also confused me. Um, but but it, it's interesting. So this is going to be interesting, like all the way around. This is a nice half butterfly game uh, that he's playing there, Matthias. And uh, yeah, and I think John he he must be working on his wrestling because I would almost say he's inviting him to stand back up, right? He's giving him a lot of space here. Yeah, but that also could be a lot of guys are worried about the leg lock game, and I don't I don't know if John is by any by any means, but he's giving him some space and he's avoiding. Um, the deep hooks there, which means he's probably respecting his, his footlock game. And we see Look at that. Matthias almost creeps around to the back, and John just decides to give up guard. And then Matthias sits back to guard himself. It's going to be, yeah, this is not what I expected from either grappler, so this is going to be interesting. These guys are both out there looking like John Cooper. Yeah, that was an interesting match as well, wasn't it? What is, uh, uh, Elijah, been your favorite match of the night so far? I think Cooper. I think Cooper and Marzano, that was a really good matchup. Uh, we've had a lot of good ones. Oh, Dwyer. Dwyer. Dwyer was my favorite competitor I didn't tonight. I see that one. Dwyer was, had such a slick guard. That's awesome. Yeah. What, what team is Dwyer from? Dwyer is from stout pgh oh no 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 surprise there stout is amazing isn't he? he's uh that which I, I you know i expected him to be a wrestler being from that camp Absolutely. but he's got beautiful leg locks beautiful guard work you know and that's the that's the beautiful thing like if you're a gym like that and everybody expects you to do one thing and you do the other that's that's beautiful right 
Because there's some gyms like uh, gyms like Ryoma. You know they're going to be amazing at certain things. If they do something you're not looking for, you're like, whoa, I was not ready for that. You know. Well, you know, I, I assume he became a guard player and a leg locker because he got tired of dealing with all those wrestlers. Absolutely, absolutely. We well, guys have done a hell of a card tonight with the grappling. A lot of a lot of good people. Um, Zach Humbertson put this one together. He He's sure done a did. great job matching these guys up. It, I've seen nothing but even matchups yeah. all the way down the card. And Zach deserves a lot of credit. You know, he's he's grappled himself. He's out there, um, competed against Nicky Rod recently. Um, he will literally go against anybody, and he he and it gives that to his students and his friends that gives them that thing. Like, hey, let's just go out there. We're learning. We're trying to get better. I was talking to him today at your tournament, and he was talking about, you know, his kids having a hard time losing. And he said, you know, I figured if I go out there and compete against guys like that and lose, it shows them that it's okay. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, it's true. He's such a good person. Good, good human. Uh, great, great, great gym. He does a great job with the kids. Great I mean, head of hair. It's very true. Much better than myself. Um, it's the one thing he's got on you. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things he's got on me. But, but he, he's a beautiful human. And, you know, let's leave it right there. So John is, you know, he's trying some stuff. He's thinking about that Dars. But Matthias is wise to it. He's fighting the hands. Well, you know, and here a lot of this position right here, if you attack the head, it exposes the back. And I see John. Yeah, see, he's going to the back right now. And Matthias is doing a great job of attacking the Kimura to stop the back. But if John gets his hooks in, he's got a lot of length here. It's, you know, it may cause problems. Matthias, look, that guy's great. But in the mind of the judges, if it goes to the judges, having your hooks in could be a great thing. Matthias but look, did a good job sliding that absolutely. bottom hook out. You know, and for people that don't do a lot of jiu-jitsu, there's a lot going on right now. I know that it's hard to see because you look at a couple of people just kind of hanging out in the bottom. Maybe it doesn't look like they're doing stuff. But this is very, very, very technical. Even John uh, Shellhammer right there keeping his head low. Everything he's doing right now. What he's doing right now is he's in half guard, obviously sitting back. And what that does is keeps him, um, you know, away from sweeps in a leg lock game by sitting farther back on the knee. Now he's a little bit higher with, with his knee placement. But if you look, it's going to be hard for Matthias to get any kind of sweeps or anything because he's so far back. So that's a good placement by John Shellhammer. But again, Matthias, I mean, listen, this is Matthias. They both know what they're doing. He's working, Matthias is working that uh, left hook in, which is going to give him an elevator, you know, try to sweep him towards his right. And he's, he's doing that. And Shellhammer kind of dug it out. Very technical match. This one's going to get super interesting when we hit the EBI overtime, and I think we're probably going to see it here. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was thinking, Elijah, is that I could see this. They're very conservative right now, right, and they're not spending a lot of energy. It's almost like they're gearing up for overtime. A right? lot of guys play that game, and it's, it's, it's an intelligent. If you're up against a guy who's in an advanced level, it's hard to make anything happen in eight minutes. Yes. Yeah, and that's surprising, right? Most people think eight minutes is a lot of time, but, like, at a higher level – the mistakes that people make are very few and far between. So it's it's a lot of like this, right? It looks like they're not doing much, but it's like they know where the mistakes are and they're taking their time and that makes the clock tick. And look, we've got a minute and 23 left. Um, they're definitely gonna go to overtime, like you said. Uh, again, definitely maybe the wrong route. But, but I say like, again, Matthias working that left hook in. But I'd say even if he got a sweep, is he going to get a submission in a minute? It's going to be tough, right? It's very, very tough. Those guys, and this is solid. Like he's he's clinching in, and both these guys have got a good sweat going. It's going to be tough. No yeah. game. There's not a lot to do here. Like what Shellhammer could do is kind of pin Matthias's left leg in uh, and hug the thigh or hug the hip and try to pass to his left. But again. Easier said than done, and Matthias is working that his left arm in, keeping it under the throat. So as he would try to put that pressure in, it would choke him. And that kind of nullifies that game. But look, right there was a nice guard pass. He's keeping the shield in. There's no guard pass, but it's a nice guard pass attempt. Good turtle. I mean, this is solid, solid jiu-jitsu. I know, again, you know, to an average fan, might not look like a lot's going on, but this is very, very technical. And it's two guys conserving their energy for overtime because they know that they're – you know, they're very evenly matched. we got 15 seconds left in this opening round. So, uh, Elijah, remind me, because I haven't seen the rules here. What Do they get to pick their first position? Or are they going to do, like, spider web? Uh, they pick between okay. spider web and back. Time! 
Time! They got you. Somebody got me doing time tonight, and I don't like it. <laughs> Why don't you just throw beer at them? I'm just going to let them all point. go 30 minutes. Yeah. It's like, well, yeah, you didn't hear me. And so here we go with the first round. I'd say the best part of this match is John Shellhammer's tank top. Um, but I'm just throwing that out there. Well, he really wanted to show off his arms tonight. That's something he talked to me about before this match. Yeah, and he does have beautiful arms. Uh, you know, if I, you know, it's looking at arms. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with admiring another man's arms. All right, here we go. So this is an interesting position. Seat belt position. Here they go. So we're going to count the fastest escape, right? And right there is technically an escape. Man, this is going to be a tough one for Schallheimer. That, what did we count that? 0. 0.2 seconds? Eight. Uh, I know. I was, I'm three, playing. four seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one's going to be a tough one to beat, Schallheimer. Especially as a taller guy. That's going to be a tough one. I feel like uh, Matthias has got the... the He's got a big advantage right here. Although Shellhammer had made a good turn right off the bat. Look at that. He's, he's going to shake ahead. him off. But that two seconds is, man, he's almost out. Look, he's man, out. that was pretty fucking close. I'm sorry. It was close. 9.66 seconds and then 8.34 seconds. I so that's it. That will be... Uh, those are horrible times, Elijah. You're really going to put this down to point whatever, if I was good at math. <laughs> Let's see. So who was yeah, that? no, you're right. I, I know who won, but, man, that's close. We're talking about tenths of seconds right there. Does that help? Yeah. Take it out of our I was, I'm too stupid. I got them mixed up. I was like, wait, who, who did which? It's all right, man. So. That was a heck of a match. That was a heck of a match. Please, Matthias please. Wagner, Devo Devotion BJJ. Excellent work. That was close. I feel bad for Sean. That's why I like the, uh, you know. We're winner by That's one I would have liked to have seen three overtime rounds.